What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here, B&B Lawn Care. Listen, I think everybody needs to remember that this industry is tough, okay? If it was easy and everybody could just have these crazy successful businesses, everybody be uh, an entrepreneur, everybody make millions of dollars, everybody would do it. You know what I mean? It's not easy. It's not easy to be an entrepreneur. It's not easy to run a business. In this industry, it's dang hard. We're gonna go through a list of issues we're having right now in my company. As you can see, this is our, we got this enclosed trailer last year. There's no racks in here right now. It is too small, okay? So this is a, a good working trailer that we have. It's too small for us right now. So. We need to get a new 16 foot at least enclosed trailer. The old work truck is having some starting issues. Um, I don't know what it's about. <sighs> if you don't know, I bought this truck. Um, it's a 2010 F-250. I bought it for $6,000. Um, I don't know, in 2016, and it's been an incredible vehicle. It's now 2024, so you do the math. It's cost nothing to have that truck. Of course, it's a different world nowadays to get a truck. But um, we need a new trailer. We need a new truck. We had a B-Ride with a slash in the sidewall of the tire. He texted me today and said that the other tire needs to be replaced too. Something we didn't notice, I was like, do it. Let's get it back on the road, right? My microphone on my camera, That's I didn't want to um, record when the mower and the blower were going. My microphone on my camera's dead. So I'm using the like microphone that's built into the camera that normally sucks, it's not very good. So we've had mower problems. Two, mower, two mowers basically out of five but the laser, we've had the bagging system on, um, so it's not really mow ready for like weekly mowing stuff. And we still do cleanups and things here and there, so I wanna leave the bagger on. So we've been just fighting problems. Let's go check on Tyler. Let's go see what Tyler says about his mower problems. Cause he's had some mower problems as well. The Dr. Pepper Warrior. Hey, tell us about your mower problems. I told him about both the skags over here. Yeah, and then I brought my two in to sub, and they both broke also, and then my John Deere, so there's a belt on it, too. So, in the past week, I have we've had... six mowers. Six mowers break. Do you know how crazy that sounds? In springtime, the busiest time of year... So what I'm saying is this can be a very tough industry. It's dang tough, because... One, people want, move this thing, Tyler, I'm sitting in here. People want you to cut the grass for, you know, $35. You start telling people, you know, around here, $60, $65, and then, no way. No way, we're not doing it, right? It's just crazy. But then, I have... Right now, over $1,100 in shop bills. Do you, I mean, do the math. That's if, I think it was like 35 bucks a year or 40 bucks or something. That is one whole client for the entire year that you'll make. Before expenses, before taxes, insurance, payroll, gas, oil, trucks, mowers. You know how crazy that is? When people think about that, that basically, basically, we're gonna mow one yard for free all year long, just to pay for one little simple shop bill. That's nuts. That's nuts. What do you think about that? It's crazy when you break it down like that. You gotta, you gotta. Well, one, we gotta, we gotta charge people. You gotta mow lots of grass, and you gotta try to limit these expenses. But there's nothing you can do about it. We're in one of those moments where it's, we're frustrated with all of these machines breaking down, so 
you know, you feel that, but it is frustrating. It's frustrating to have machines broken down. It's frustrating that brand new mowers aren't under warranty. Um, like little simple things like that. That's where we're at. So we got six mowers broken down, one week. The trailer, the white enclosed trailer, those wires that come down that connect to the springs, we had them worked on twice last year. Springs replaced, the the wires replaced. It's still, it's messed up again. Scary things to work on, those things will kill you, wrap around your arm and yank them off. Very dangerous things to work on those uh, garage type springs. The X marks came in, saved the day. We basically had two X marks on the the other cruise truck and now we split those two mowers into one on this truck, one on that one. And there's just, we're running like, we're running like two crews with one crew of equipment, basically. Um, so it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. You guys, you guys know the struggle. If you, if you're in that moment where you're, you got crap breaking down, you got machines breaking down and it's tough, we all go through it. I'm freaking 16 years into this industry. I felt like we had a ton of equipment and here we are. We're like slim pickings for equipment, um, borrowing equipment from each truck. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous. So that's where we're at. Tyler, go have a great day on the X marks, bro. Or on the X mark, because you only get one. You only get one mower around here at B&B, even if you need to, because everything's broken down. So, we're gonna get to it. They, I think that one one of those mowers is gonna be done though today, with a uh, two new tires on it. So, that's where we're at. Hope you guys have a great spring. We're gonna get through it. You know, in a couple of days, every all the mowers will be back, and we'll be all uphill or downhill from here, whatever the word's supposed to be. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Okay, nobody'd work a, a job they hate. Nobody'd work a corporate job that they hate in an office all day. Because if it was easy and you could just make money quick and easy, everybody would do it. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.